All right, good morning, everybody. Wipe those sleepies from your eyes. Get ready for math lesson 52. Today, we are talking about reading and writing numbers through the billions. So, we've already talked about place value. And remember, each group has three places that always goes ones, tens, hundreds. And we've said this before, read each three-digit group separately. Just say the name of the number, then say the name of the group. And remember, if there's a comma after the word, there's got to be a comma after the digit. If there's a comma after the digit, there's a comma after the word. So we've already talked about the first ones, what I call the no-name group, because we just say these numbers. We don't see a group name. The next three, one, ten, hundred, thousand. So you say the name of the number here, then say thousand. Then one, ten, hundred, million. You would say whatever number is here and say the word million. And lastly, one ten hundred billion. And even after the video's ended, you have a place value chart on page 334 of your book because some people, I think, were still a little fuzzy on place value. So let's dive right in, okay? It says which digit shows the number of hundred billions in 987 billion, 654 million, 321,000. They want to know which digit is going to show 100 billion. So no name, thousand group, million group. Here's the billion group, 1 billion, 10 billion. So which digit shows it? That is the nine that shows the hundred billion. Check out this one. What is the value of the two in the number 12,345,678? So remember, the value is the digit times the place value, like you were setting it up in expanded notation. So what is the value of the two? The two is the digit, and he's sitting in the one millions place. So digit is two times the place value. He's one million. So what would be two times one million? So what would be two times one million? I'm hoping you know if you have two stacks of a million dollars, you have two million dollars, don't you? Or two million. Two times one million is simply two million. The digit times the place value. Check out this one. In which of the following numbers does the seven have a value of 70,000. So let's take a look. 70,000 means seven shows up one, two, three, four, five digits. There is 70,000 on the fifth digit to the left. If I counted one, two, three, four, five. So a certainly isn't. That's not one, two, three, four, five. Let's take a look at B. One, two, three, four. There it is for the 70,000. Check out this guy using words to name. And here it says, write the commas in first, starting at the end of the number. We go right to left for putting in commas. Remember, it's always one, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma. Let's do it down here. One, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma. 
Let's try one more. One, two, three, comma. One, two, three, comma. One, two, three, comma. All right, I got my commas in now. We just look at each group. We're going to name the number, name the group. So first up, I have one. No names, thousand, millions. We would have to write in one million. Make comma after the number. You're going to put in a comma after the word. The next three digits, 345. Three hundred and forty five in the thousand group. Comma after the word, there's a comma after the number. The last section says two hundred. And that's how easy that is. Let's go and try one more here. Name the number, then name the group. So, I have 798, but that's 798 what? No name, thousand, million. So, 798. Seven hundred ninety-eight million is the group. So, comma after the number, put in a comma after the word. Next, I just have two. But what group is it? Two in the thousand group. So right in two thousand, comma after the number, comma after the word. Lastly, I have 950 in the no name. That's how easy that guy is. And our last one up that we are going to have to write for today, we have... 800, but what is his group? No name. Thousand, million, billion. So 800 in the billion groups. So let's write down 800 billion. Comma after the number, comma after the word. Next up, I have 546. Five hundred forty six what? No name. Thousand. That looks like five hundred forty six million. Come after the number, come after the group. Comma after the digit, comma after the word. Now all we have here in the thousand group is zeros. Do I have to say zero thousand? No, I do not. Nothing is the same as zero. And the last bit, I have zero two zero in the no name. We're going to pronounce him 20. And since he's in the no name group, I don't have to say anything after him, do I? All right. Now the opposite direction. Use digits to write. Let's take a look at everything I have here. I have 156 in my billion group. So I'm going to put in 156. And there's a comma after the word, so I use a comma after the digit. My next group, I have 892 in my million group, don't I? So let's put in that number, 892. And he's sitting in the millions group, 892. Now I'm moving on. I have 47 sitting in my thousand group. Now you got to make sure a lot of times kids will want to start right in here. But 47, that means four tens and seven ones. What do you imagine we're going to need here? would have to be a zero. I don't have any any hundred thousands for 47,000. And my last one, I have 12 in my no-name group. Well, a 12 is 110 and two ones, right? 
So again, what do you think I'm putting here? Zero, because I have zero hundreds when I need to make 12. All right, let's do it again. This time I have 203 in my billion group. 203, name the number, name the group. So I'm going to put 203 right here in my billion group. Next up, here I have 80 million. Sometimes kids will read too fast. You got to be really careful if that's 8 or 80. It is 80 in my millions group. So to make 80, I have 8 tens, 0 ones. I also have 0 hundreds to make 80 million, right? Moving along, I have 300. 50 in my thousand group, 350. That would be three hundreds, five tens, and zero ones to make 350,000. And lastly, I just have six. So I'm going to go and put my six here, but each group always uses three digits, no matter what. To make six, it's just six ones, so I need zero for my tens and zero for my hundreds. All right, let's try this. Write in expanded notation. Remember, that's when we go parenthesis, digit, times, whatever place value, close the parentheses, put in a plus sign, if there's another digit, and then you do it again. Parenthesis, digit times place value, close out the parenthesis, and do it for as many digits as you need. Remember, you don't have to write zeros. Are we ready for this? So it seems like my first digit I have there is a three. So I'm gonna go and start with parenthesis three times, and here is my no name, my thousand, my million. That three looks like he's hanging out in the hundred billion spot. So 100 and then a bunch of zeros, right? That's a hundred million. There's a hundred billion right there. New plus sign, new parenthesis. The next digit is a five. And that 5 is sitting in the 10 billion spot. So let's put in 10, 0, 0, 0, comma, 0, 0, 0. There is 10 million, but we needed 10 billion. Close out your parentheses. 3 times 100 billion plus 5 times 10 billion. All right, let's try one more. Here I have to do it in expanded notation. I have 555 million, and then I have 50. 555 million, 50. Are we ready to put it in expanded notation? So my first digit up, I have a five. So digit times a place value, he looks like he is sitting in the hundred million spot. Five times 100 million. Close out your parenthesis. Put in a plus sign. New parenthesis. My next digit is also a five. Only this time it's five times 10 million because that's the place value he's sitting in. Close out that parenthesis. Put in a plus sign. New parenthesis. The third digit I have is also a 5. The digit times the place value. This time it's only 1 million. Close out the parentheses. 5 times 1 million. One more digit to deal with, so don't forget your new plus sign. And the last one, this five is sitting in the tens place. So digit times the place value, close out your parentheses. 555 million, 50, 
5 times 100 million plus 5 times 10 million plus 5 times 1 million plus 5 times 10 for expanded notation. And that is the end. I highly recommend you have a place value chart on page 334 of your book. Good luck on the Socrative quiz.